Hi guys, Frisbee here. Seriously cool episode today. As you can see, we've got the Google cars, we've got some strange spelunking, and at the end, we've got some drag racing. So, right, to the Google car straight away. Uh, just to get the thing started, I thought what I want to do is be able to hug one side of the road, stay on the right side of it, keep away from the white line, and avoid any obstacles. Quite a big challenge, and I got on pretty well, as you will see. Okay, so the cones were no good. We'll put up some boxes and we'll try and work our way around them. Right, again, so as you see, it makes its way over to the other side with both wheels turning in now, but the wheels are actually independent. They've both got a pair of sensors on them and so they can snake round objects. Now, as you see, when it comes up to the box here, they act independently and it works its way around beautifully, just skipping past it. Okay, it's going very slow. We'll speed it up soon and we'll make it go a lot, lot faster. But for now, for my first go, I was really quite pleased with that because it straightened itself up and carried on like a trooper. So that was good. Let's make it way, way more difficult. Let's put a sneaky line of boxes in and let's really narrow things down. Okay, here we go. We come up for it. Straight away, I've got an extra sensor on it. It sort of nudges the corner. Gets away with it. Yeah, not too bad. There would be an insurance claim there. Um, you can see those two switches flicking back and forward on the on the front deck. Um, they, I think they're called inverters. Basically, this one set of sensors come, uh, comes on, pulls it back in when it gets too far away. And so you have to reverse out of a normal sensor set up for that. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's speed it up a bit and then see how this bad boy can do. And uh, <laughs> it's really time. Okay. If we're going to speed it up, we're going to have to weigh it down. So, stick some metal on the end of it, and uh, that held it down nicely, and away we went. So, okay, the idea here is to keep speed and stay away from the white line, and trying to strain as much straight, straight line as possible. First attempt didn't do it, so I changed the angle of rake of the sensors so that they're more look ahead, and then I changed the, the speed at which the wheels, the wheels turn, uh, wheels, the steering changes, and um, a few other changes. And eventually, eventually, I managed to get it to behave itself. So as you can see, it's purring along nicely here. Now, if I was, if I had all four wheels on the same steering system, this would be easy. But because I've got two at the front and two at the back on different sensors, it becomes quite a hard, hard one to master. But uh, not too bad, looking good here. And after a while, I even managed to get it to hug. In fact, I could decide exactly what tiles I was going to be running along just based on the angles, based on the turning speed. And as you will see in a second, I can get it right up against the railings and run it for a good long time. So, the next phase will be to try and get it to uh, turn around and come back and become a more functional uh, machine. So that's what we've got to look forward to in the next one. There you go. It is hugging right into it. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, and it's a real brain stretcher as well. You have to really think about what you're doing with all those controllers all over the place and all the sensors. But, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I love that. Okay, right. Um, Shadow Flux, who I mentioned last week, also showed me this uh, glitch here where you can drive the seat right through the ground and then go and explore underground. So here we are in the mountain that, uh, that has the bridge on it. And um, I just put out these these big orange um, floor plates and just went for a little skedaddle down to the bottom of the mountain. Um, I, w I tried this at the perimeter fence as well to try and break out, to actually try and break out of the map into the hinterland that you see on the other side of the fence, but I wasn't able to do it, but I haven't given up. I will try to escape. Uh, but for the time being, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. And what happens is, if you fall off, you get a strange message. You can see it as you just disappear away. A little message comes up saying, you're playing the game wrong. Stop that. So that's it. Okay, so based on that same glitch and from another guy called Batch and MC, MC standing for Minecraft, this is the guy who invented the remote control uh, glitch that was um, really, really doing the rounds two or three weeks ago. And um, so he's come up with another one because the suspension rods are not recognised by blocks. They ghost their way through them. 
so that if you put an extra set of suspensions on and then a set of wheels on the bottom of that, you can grip both sides of a single block layer or you can grip both sides of the ground. I've put a link to his uh, video in the description so you can go and see what he did with it as well. He built a unicycle and here I've just built a big IKEA table that goes really fast and um, zips along at a good old rate. And there you have it. So I thought what I'll be doing in the future is I'll try and develop that a little bit and I'll try and find the fastest way of getting across that bridge and uh, see if I can beat these times. Um, as you see the little bar on the bottom, it took 43 seconds for a character to run across it and the fastest I could get across in wheels without using the glitch was about 18 seconds. So that thing, that dangly thing you see on it this time, that's just the uh, accelerometer. Just, I was just using that to see what the acceleration was like and when it died down kind of thing, you know, so initial burst. Oh yeah, it's a very interesting glitch. There's a lot of things you could do with that, it really is. Okay, so that's about it for this week and um, I will leave you with uh, a couple of videos. You can actually have a look if you haven't seen it already, the bridge building video or going a little bit further back, the Besiege video, the one where I made the big tank. Um, I will be coming back to Besiege, I absolutely promise. I've actually built another tank but I've just got, um, I've got to put some finishing touches to it. But meanwhile, please subscribe and I will catch you later. Thanks very much. Bye.